these are my trophies. Well, they're two of my trophies. I've got another like six more over here. And I used to compete. I used to compete in natural bodybuilding and fitness competitions and karate and lots of other things and used to really enjoy it. And, and today I wanna <laughs> talk about um, why I stopped competing. And I thought it'd be kind of cool just to, you know, use a bit of a pattern interrupt on your feed, see me showing off these things. Um, I had a great time doing it. Maybe I should, I'll leave this here. It's kind of in, in, in the shot there. There you go, there's an arm. Um, I had a great time. I competed for 30, uh, seven years. I competed between natural bodybuilding. Let me bring this mic closer. I competed in natural bodybuilding. I competed in men's physique. I competed in fitness competitions. I became a WBFF pro. I won the UK title in 2015. Um, you know, I kind of had a good time doing it and I did some, some big things with it. And it was a long time. I competed one year on, one year off for about, as I said, seven years. So I was competing every other year. So every other year I was on like a six month diet and everything in my life went on hold except for my competition prep. And I was started this at 21 years old, right? Started prepping from 20 years old. Did my first competition at 21, then 23, then 25, then 27. Um, and every year I did about two, maybe three shows. And it was intense. It was intense because it wasn't just do a diet for a few months and stop. It was like six months in total of dieting if I did like one competition than the other. And it was a lot on my body, both physically and, and mentally. Because what happens is when you go into a state of like really going to a place of like taking your body to that to that level, you need to be focused in and everything in your life needs to be resolved around training. Um, you need to be re resolve, uh, re revolved, everything needs to be revolved around your training, your diet, and that's it. Like everything else takes a back seat, it's sad to say. And so that's what I did. I, I really just went all in when I was competing and everything else in my life took a back seat. My relationships, my friendships, my social life, fun, travel, anything, my business, which was, you know, one of the one of the key things I'm going to talk about in a minute. Um, took a back seat, and nothing really grew further beyond where it was, except for my physique. Man, these are these are dusty. Um, <laughs> and so my physique was take, getting further to this next level, but everything else in my life just stood still. And I was, you know, getting leaner every year, getting slightly bigger, you know, a couple pounds every year, and you know, things were looking good for my physique, but the rest of my life was just not moving forward. And that was really the realization for me that I need to change up my focus. And I stopped competing in 2017 after doing 13 competitions, as I said, from natural bodybuilding to WBFF fitness shows to men's physique. Um, and I had some great times doing it, but I had to decide to, I had to, I had to cut my ties with competing so that I could focus in on the other areas of life that I stopped focusing on. Because when I, I had an off season for that first time in 2017. I, I started to look at the other areas of my life and realize that things weren't really progressing that far. I felt kind of in the same place in many respects in the other areas, even though I was trying all these things online and, you know, some of them failing miserably, but I just didn't feel like there was really much growth happening. And so what I did was just tell myself, Hey, I'm just going to stop this. Like it's not taking me to where I want to be. Um, in terms of my my other goals in life and so i need to stop this because what happens is you get what you focus on and so where i was just completely like dead focused on competing and getting into great shape everything else just couldn't have any attention right nothing in my life could really get the same focus and attention and so by stopping competing and stopping the you know focus attention on getting on stage I was able to put that time and attention into other areas, namely my business, which exponentially took off ever since that same year that I stopped competing, ironically. And the reason why is because of focus, because you you only can focus on a few things, if only one thing at any given time, and you really just get what you focus on. And so by cutting all the other distractions in my life, I was able to really focusing on my business and it grew tenfold. But one of the big things that allowed me to focus in on it was 
stopping this, stopping competing, stopping getting on stage. And instead of focusing all my time and attention on my macros and the, the weight training sessions that I was doing, because I was still training, I never stopped, but I just stopped being really obsessed with it, allowed me to then put time and attention into other things in my life that are, in, that are important to me. And I wanted to go through life in a different stage. You're going to have different priorities, right? You might be in the season now where your fitness, your physique is like really important. Uh, but then you're going to reach a stage where you're like kind of happy and content and proud of your physique and where you are. But then you're going to look at your business, your finances, your situation and be like, mm, maybe I need to focus there because that's not really developing where I want it to be. And so you need to focus there. And so that's what I did. I just took the focus away from competing from being obsessed with bodybuilding and and everything else and just like just channel a, ch a tunnel vision into my business um, and and things radically took off and so I wanted to share this today because it was a really big lesson for me about focus that I never really understood before I knew that you had to be focused when you do things and of course the success I had in bodybuilding and fitness was because I was focused on that but we also have to be aware of what we are sacrificing in order to get that thing, right? I was sacrificing other levels of success in my life for competing and bodyboarding um, that I, I let kind of take a back seat until I decided it was time to stop, compete, stop competing, stop uh, distracting myself and focusing on the thing that I really want now in my life, which was the financial success, the impact, and the things that go beyond my own selfish needs, which was um, what I was satisfying with competing. I was just wanting to get that validation um, from other people I'm really aware of. And you know, sorry for the time, because I had so much insecurity from growing up being a fat kid. And so competing was that way of me of getting that validation and that feeling of worthiness from other people um, who would um, tell me, you know, you look good and you're in shape and all these other things. But um, it wasn't until I, again, stopped competing that I found more inner happiness within myself and I was no longer um, tied to the constraints of competing and could focus in on other areas of my life. So I just wanted to share that with you today. Maybe there's an area of your life you are not focusing on, you're, you're letting slack behind because of your attention somewhere else. And maybe it's time that you focus in on, on a different place. Um, for me, that was my business after letting my fitness um kind of take priority but now um you know say so i've got quite a healthy balance and uh, things are going well um what's up drake good to see you man um it seems i've frozen in on facebook i don't know if it's even moving still or youtube it's just like a frozen screen of me who knows it might have recorded it might not have but you know you get what you focus on that's the moral of the story so realize that wherever you're focusing on right now whether it's your food your training your fitness your business you, it will come if you just kind of put all of your time and attention into that thing and turn off all the distractions, all the things that aren't moving you towards your goal. And sometimes you're going to have to sacrifice the things that you don't want to sacrifice or the things that, you know, giving you short-term satisfaction. Sometimes you have to let those things go. So that's what I got today. Um, it seems to be frozen over everywhere else, but I'm going to leave it here. If you guys have any questions, um, shoot them in the comments below this video. And uh, yeah, catch you all soon.